The UK is still reeling from the shock news of the Princess of Wales's cancer diagnosis, with public calls for the royals to now be left alone to recover in peace. Within the British press, there has been a reflection on the scrutiny and speculation that Princess Catherine was subjected to in recent weeks as she privately came to terms with her illness. Our Europe correspondent Isabella Higgins joins us now from London. Isabella, good morning. So how has the country reacted to this news? Good morning, Michael. Well, this news has absolutely rocked the UK. Many are still reeling from Princess Catherine's Friday announcement that she is in the early stages of cancer treatment. Now, almost immediately, there was an outpouring of support and well wishes. Some of them who came here to Buckingham Palace and laid flowers to show their respect. And just 24 hours after that initial message, we heard from the Prince and Princess of Wales again in a statement who said that they had been touched by the warmth and compassion they have been shown from the public. But in that message, they once again underlined their desire for privacy during this time. Now, that was really the main message from Princess Catherine's personal video message where she announced that she was dealing with cancer. She explained that part of the reason why she had taken time to come forward to explain this to the public was that she wanted time to explain this to her children, that she wanted to be with them, that she didn't want them to be at school, that she wanted the family to be together at the Easter school holiday so that her children wouldn't have to deal with the repercussions of this as the story spread through the media. And in recent weeks, Princess Catherine had been the subject of ferocious online conspiracies, some cruel media commentary. But this this announcement has really drawn a line in the sand and it's really prompted a moment of reflection for many members within the British press. There have been columnists and celebrities who have apologised for the way they've spoken about Princess Catherine in recent weeks and certainly there are calls from politicians, members in the press and also members of the public who say that now they would just like to see this family be left alone as they deal with this difficult matter in their own time. Can we expect to see or hear much from the royal family, Isabella, in the weeks ahead? Michael, the short answer is we probably won't see much of them at all for the months ahead. It's expected that the Prince and Princess of Wales will spend most of the Easter holidays, that's the next few weeks, at their country estate, Amna Hall, in the east of England. They've already made it clear that they will not be attending the annual Royal Easter service, but we have heard from the palace that perhaps King Charles may be able to attend. Of course, he's been away from public duties as well as he seeks cancer treatment. So it's a difficult time for the royal family and it shows that there's just a handful of royals who are able to attend these major public events. But of course, this is not just a, a, an institution, not just figureheads, not just a monarch, but this is a family who are also privately dealing with a serious health problems and trying to look after their own families.